Welcome back, guys. We got a hundred dollars in tickets. We got a full pack of Monster Multiplier. We got a hundred tickets. So black box to black box. This one we're looking for a match. Actually, not a match. We're looking for the little Frankenstein head to win the prize, and then you can multiply by the multiplier in the middle, which goes up to a twenty x. Odds on these are one in four point seven one. I think these are probably some of the highest odds I've seen on a. One dollar ticket so far in PA. We got the little Frankenstein, and looks like we get a stick it, as Jack would say. Rest in peace, Jack. <clears throat> All right. By my rough Jedi math, we will probably see somewhere around 21 to 25 wins. I'm not even going to worry about these other ones, because <laughs> once you get that free ticket, you're done. So... We'll just expedite the process. And I'm not going to scratch the bonus on the losing tickets because that's just enough to piss me off. So we're just looking for the little Frankenstein head. All this other stuff is just noise. Hopefully everyone is doing well today. And if it's your first time seeing a full book of scratch-offs, welcome. And uh, I definitely encourage you to subscribe. So you can see some more of this crazy <laughs> crap that I do. All right. And yeah, you're not going to get a <clears throat> multiplied win. Ooh, got three bucks on that one. Not going to get a multiplied win on the, uh, uh, how you call it, <clears throat> the free tickets. So, is what it is. All right. I said I wasn't going to do the middle. Hold that. Okay. Nothing. <clears throat> well, at least they made this ticket easy <clears throat> to play. So many of the recent tickets have been, uh, I will say that they are overly complicated. Like, they're semi confusing and easy to mess up a win. Either thinking you won and you didn't, or you won and maybe you won more than what you thought, or the other way around. Right, nothing. Ticket 17. Nothing. I'm using the Viper Scratch Offs Boo Coin. This is my official Halloween ticket coin. So all Halloween tickets will be scratched with this coin for the next <laughs> month or so. <clears throat> all right. Nothing. Ticket 22. Might take me about... 18 to 20 minutes to blow through this book. And we got a free stick it. Stupid ticket. I'll be a happy man when they go away, when they do away with free tickets on these $1 scratch offs. I don't even see a point <clears throat> other than them just keeping their money. Oh, we got a couple of them this time. Looks like, oh, almost had a full house. We've got a 1x multiplier. It's probably going to be $3 the hard way, but we'll take it. <clears throat> Actually, one more in this first 20 ish tickets than I thought we would. Like more tickets, not the amount of money. Usual $1 books from Pennsylvania will give up anywhere between 52 to like, I want to say like maybe the low end 60s. So, I haven't had one that returned less than that. Um, I think the smallest amount I found was probably like 52, um, or something like that. It was like 52 or 54, and uh, my best was like 140 something, because I hit a 20x multiplier and it had a, a 500. So it was a complete shocker. Just show the 
there's nothing there. So we got one dollar so far. Two dollars. All right, I got two dollars on that one. <clears throat> $30 hit would be nice. Typical uh, largest win I'm used to seeing, or at least I get one of, is I find at least one $10, $15, or $20 win in most of these books. Um, but you don't get many. So if you ever find a $40, $50 win in a $1 book, Probably stop and go home. <clears throat> Last one was on ticket 35. We we're on ticket 44. We went almost 10 tickets since that last win. And we are officially at 10 tickets. Ticket 45. Oh, we got two of them on the bottom. 1x multiplier on both. And five bucks. All right, we'll take it. Okay, ticket 46. I'm definitely going to do a halfway check-in because I have lost count of how much I have, but I feel like I'm somewhere around 20 bucks, maybe. Maybe like 16. All right, nothing. All right, one more and we'll do the uh, check-in. All right, nothing there. Let's see our modest amount of wins. Not a whole lot going on today. We have one, two, three, six, seven, eight, eleven, twelve, fourteen, uh, fourteen plus five, nineteen. All right, so nineteen. I was one dollar off. And our best win in all that was. Five bucks. Biggest multiplier was a 3x. And we got a little Frankenstein. Oh, let's see if we get anything else to go with it. We do not, but we got a 5x that time. That is a 5, right? Yep. All right. Almost, almost looked like it could have been a 3. <clears throat> That's our first 5x of the day. feel like based on where we are in this book, ah, let's stick it. I um, feel like we should see a 10 pop up soon. A 10 or better. Uh, got one and a 2x. All right, $2 on that one. Okay, I take a 58. Probably not going to do this twice. I think I did a, I think I did a one dollar book twice one year, and I don't think uh, <laughs> I don't think it was uh, as popular as the first time I did it. So yeah, actually I do think I did. I did a Halloween book twice one year. The second time around, it was like eh, <laughs> people were like over it at that point. And I think I posted on Halloween. I want, ooh, ah, crap. All right, well, we did get our $10 that we were predicting. I think that gets me around uh, mid to upper 30s as far as the return. We could still see another, we could see another 10. I do recall sometimes getting mul multiple $10 wins. See, and it is a stick it. All right. Nothing. Nada. No Frankenstein's. All right, ticket seventy two. 
plow through this book in 10 minutes. 70 tickets in 10 minutes. Might set a record. Might actually finish at 15 minutes. All right. All right, we got one up there. Let's see what this one gives us? 2x. All right. Oh, wait a minute. We didn't even check the bonus. All right, we'll take that $30 win. That may be the that may be the best win in this book. $30 is pretty high on the prize tier. And that pushes us up to the 60th, 60th range. We should be almost close to 70. So this will be a above average return. It was a 10x under there, but that's all right. We'll take the 30. All right, ticket 83 on the home stretch. Huh? Ah, stick it. That's a pumpkin right there. That ain't gonna work. Ooh, ah. yeah, I'd be hard pressed to see if we get anything higher than that 30. I think that 30 might have been the best win on this one. More like the entry level big win <laughs> in the book. I do not intend to scan these tickets as a second chance. I'm just letting y'all know that right now. I don't have the patience with this PA lottery app. So they will sit here. Nothing. And we got a dollar so far and it's good for three dollars. Right, so we're definitely in this seventy dollar range. Probably more like seventy five. We did a little bit better than predicted. I'm still not running this again, <laughs> so I'm good. Once is enough. And plus the top prize is only like, what, 1300 I, mean, I know they were trying to stay with that 13 theme, but 1300 compared to what normal was like five grand. All right, we got one. And it is good for 3x again. All right, 3x is not shy. Okay, final ticket. The 100th ticket. And we get nothing. Last multiplier was a 3x as well. All right, let's uh, tally up where we have. You guys can count the wins as I do them off because I can't do two things at once. One, two, three, six, seven, eight. 11, 12, 14, 19, 24, 25, 27, 28, 38, 39, 41, 71, 72, 72, 81. 81 back on 100. Wow. All right. So, so far these, uh, Halloween tickets have treated me well, much better than the August tickets, which are shit. So, all right, guys. Well, thank you for watching. And don't forget, I will have a full book of the win-win ticket still in the plastic this Sunday. Um, so don't miss it. And I will catch you guys on the next one. Have a good one.